If existing presets are not exactly what you need, you can modify them or create and save new ones. Step 1. Creating a new preset. Choose the format or device preset that most closely suits your needs. For example, let's say you need to modify the AVI preset. Click Settings to open the Format Settings dialog window and enter the name of your new preset. Let's call it My AVI. Now click Add. Step 2 Adjusting Settings. In this window, you can change the video codec. You can also change the video codec options. Here we have H264. It has several profiles with different values, baseline, main, and high. You can choose any of them. If you uncheck Enable Auto Bitrate Adjustment, you can change the bitrate. The higher the bitrate you choose, the better the quality you get. But there is no advantage to setting the bitrate higher than the original video. Then you can choose a quality level from optimal to highest. Change aspect ratio. Aspect ratio depends on the original video and on the device for which we convert. 4 to 3 is used for TV shows, and 16 to 9 is used for movies. You can change the max iframe interval. Frames are coded without reference to any frame except themselves. This interval is the distance between these single frames. The larger the distance you make, the worse the quality you get. Change the B frame sequence. It defines how many B frames are used between I frames. It's useful if you have many static, not dynamic scenes. It can increase the quality of the video. Uncheck Video Same as Input and change the video width and height if required. Change Frame Rate. This is the frequency at which an imaging device produces frames. It's usually 25, but sometimes you need 30. Resize method. When you convert video and change the aspect ratio, you can choose the way to modify the video, stretch, crop, etc. And choose the resize quality, best or normal. Audio stream. Here you can change the audio format, change to another format, or completely remove the sound by choosing none. Change the parameters for each format by clicking Options. Change the sample rate. The higher the sample rate you choose, the better the sound quality you get. Finally, choose mono or stereo. Step 3. Saving the preset. When all the changes are done, click Change to save the preset. After saving, you can choose it from the preset list.